video, I will show you how to implement ADC into your project in Microchip Studio 7 in a blocking mode and also with using the interrupts. So let's start. To implement ADC, we will be using the example uh, from the previous video, which uses the USB CDC communication. To add ADC support, we will have to add the driver from the ASF. So let's do that and apply. Okay, it's added in. We can try to build that project, see what's missing. Okay, as you can see, we got errors. of those definitions missing so we can try to find them they are in the component adc.h file we can uh, reference this file to the adc or we can just simply copy those which are missing and it will also work so let's copy them and put to the h file okay and now we will see the project is building. Okay, build succeeded. Now we can go back to the H file and scroll down. At the bottom of the file, we got uh, some implementation for the ADC. We got some basic code. We can just copy it into our main file. Okay, so the first uh, function is to read the latest uh, results from the ADC. We can go ahead and implement this as a global variable. Okay. And in the next function, ADC setup, we have uh, a variable missing, which is ADC clock. This is a uh, uint 32 um, variable and it has to be lower uh, minimally twice as the system clock so we can use this function which gets the system clock and we need to divide it minimally two but I will type in eight okay so now we can copy this fu uh, this function before starting our main loop and also we need to enable the clocks for the peripherals which are gpio a for the analogs analog pins and for the adc itself okay to start the conversion, we have the trigger configured as software. We will be uh, using the function ADC start. We need to uh, say which, which instance of the ADC we are using. For, for this board, it's only one. So we just type in ADC. Okay, so here we start. So first we will use the blocking mode. In this case, we just use this function manually. And we will have the results stored in our variable. Uh, the variable holds a binary value and we need to send ASCII through the USB port. So in order to do this, we will declare buffer first. And use the function sprint.
we will decode it as decimal. which this one accepts unit 16. So let's add the conversion. And our variable results. Okay. And we would like also to add a new line to the end of, of the buffer. So for this, we will use the function str cat. And to it, at the end, we will add new line. Now, in order to send the data, we need to implement a loop. And it has to be done uh, the length of the buffer one. So to get the length of it, we can use the function strlen. And we add the data setting. Okay, the previous uh, sending data from the example we can just hide. Okay, let's try to do the solution. As we can see, uh, we need to add a header file to support those functions of strings. So we will add string.h Let's try to build it now Okay, it's working so we can try to flash the software into our port Okay, I'm resetting the board and selecting the data uh, visualization. So our port, hold rate. And let's open it. So we are receiving the ADC data. So we would like also show how to implement ADC we are using the interrupts. So let's just disconnect this and return here. So now we would like not to use this manually, but we would like to use this function in interrupts. So in order to do that, we need to um, enable the interrupts. So first of all, we need to find the files which describe the interrupts in our project tree. So in this file, we need to get this function. before starting the ADC. This function. And the function for enabling the specific interrupt source. which is this. 
Now we need to type in the um, interrupt source. And in order to know which one it is, what's the name, we need to go to the definition file. So we select our uh, processor and we will need to find it in this file uh, the name of the source, which is this. And we put it into, into our uh, function parameter. Okay. Now we need to uh, get this function into the handler for the interrupt. So now we need to find the files for the exceptions. And here we have the files. So let's go first to the C file. And here you have the handlers, handler for the ADC. And out here we got the function, which will be done when we got the interrupt. So let's type our own. Let's name it ADCX. And here we have to implement this. And we would like to use this function from the main. Let's copy this into the C file. And now we need to um, implement this function as an extern in the H file. So in the H file, we have to add We have to add extern to the definition for our function from the main. Okay, and now uh, our handler, which we declared in the main, we will execute it as soon as we got an exception from ADC. So we'll try to build it. And it is okay. So let's now flash the software, raising the board and selecting the file again. Okay, now let's reset the board, select our device and connect. And as you can see, it sends the ADC received data to the USB port. And it is done in interrupts. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.